Welcome to part three of the AutoCAD Inventor LT Suite video series. In part three, we're going to talk about how to quickly and easily create multiple configurations of this one part through the use of iPart functionality. Now before I do so, I want to go ahead and set the stage a little bit through some simple parameter management. Now you have multiple ways in Inventor LT of assigning parameter names. You can either do it through the Dimension Properties dialog or write in the Dimension Edit dialog through direct parameter naming. Now what that allows me to do is I'm able to reference those dimensions and, and, and what they drive more quickly and easily once I get to the iPart authoring tool. So not only can I put parameter names inside of the dimension at dialog, I can also include things like complex formulas to make sure that once this thing changes in, shi in size and configuration, it's behaving the way that I want it to. Now as the length of this, uh, this part gets smaller, um, in, in, in a specific configuration, I don't need that cutaway. I don't need that material removed. So I'm going to go ahead and tell the property to suppress if the length parameter becomes less than or equal to 13 and a half inches. Now let's see what that does when I actually edit the length parameter down to something say like 13 inches. So I'll go into my parameter management dialog, edit the value, and update the part and as you can see it automatically suppressed that feature for me. Now that I have all of my parameters named and I've, I've done some basic parameter management I can go ahead and call up the iPart author. And What the iPart author allows you to do is make multiple configurations of this geometry very quickly and easily just by adding rows and adding links. Now if you're more comfortable working with Microsoft Excel to edit this table you certainly have the capability of doing so. So now that I've added all my different configurations of, of the length, as you can see, if I expand this table over here, I have the ability to reference each one of those instances. Now each one of those instances is going to become a unique part here in Inventor so that in the next video I can go ahead and document all of these in both table and individual drawings.